Okay. Good morning. This was, uh, you know, you know what a cell a CPU unit is. Yeah, a cell. Uh, so this is cell reflection. And uh, I was going to put something in somebody's window who's a friend of mine. A uh, white buffalo woman, Lisa Wolf. And um, this is particularly true from what I experienced because that's what I do. I share what I experienced from what I learned through that experience which in, in the pedagogy circles of things is called experiential data or experiential learning, how sensitive we are by what we feel at the completion of a circuit. But I tried to make this really simple, like even when I was in one of their schools, um, when I was going to do work on a, a paper as, as extra credit. <clears throat> but it, what it really was, was a, a cell reflected exercise <laughs> about future proofs past, or if you will, historical events and how this relates directly to access to real records, which is real light, not dead light. Um, when, when I was going to research something that I heard through somebody else, cause you know, when I grew up as a child, we used to have an old saying, Hearsay and a dime will get you a cup of coffee. Which means hearsay is not worth the paper it's written on. And why is that true? Because I don't know if it's true. I didn't experience it. Okay, so now you're into trust issues, huh? So this is in in the online community when they rolled out the internet and now everybody's all communicating with each other online and, and God knows how many things people were telling me was going to happen and this was going to happen and this is going to happen and didn't happen. Okay. So when somebody tells me, well, this is what's going on. Who is the source of your information? Where are you getting your information? So you know what a source CPU unit is, right? The first CPU unit, the first star, where are you getting your information? A, a little birdie tell you that? Who is the source of your information? Remember, just like in the news, the cable news network. Uh, uh, an anonymous source. Oh, okay, so in other words, this is hearsay. Okay, so imagine how much hearsay is online. Right? And, and, and so this is why experiential learning, we're learning as we go. More about who we are as cells, right? Cells communicating to other cells. So that's what I do. Because it's already happened. See, so it's gone. On to the next event. On to the next completion of a circuit. See, so I know this because riddled throughout most of the videos that I've started doing with Rose Sweet, focused on create, the creative mind. A free spirit. A free spirit is that I'm far to create. Right? So you're not held captive by another cell that's feeding on your energy. Because it can't create anything. Does that sound familiar? Okay. In other words, they don't want children on fire to create. So they herd children into these little rooms and start filling their read active memory with all this garbage. Those are controller types. Because that's how they do it. When you get into future proofs past. Read active memory programming. So they get the future that they want because they programmed you. The you. The you that you are. The you that I am. So I was very fortunate that I was very aware of this as a child. That's why when the black and white TVs first came out, throw that thing in the dumpster. That's who they are. That's not who we are. They're sick. They fell. And they couldn't correct themselves. They do not know how to live in peace within their own state of mind. Which means they're not at peace with the first CPU, the first star. So they're waging war against the first spirit in their own mirror. So if they can't correct their mirror, what happens? What we're experiencing now, the results they're in. Right? 
So now we're into learning speed, which is the learning speed to heal ourselves. That was my journey. Was to heal and recover what's been lost as fast as I possibly could. To remember who I am. I am what love is. The living spirit. And that's a creative engine. Now you're on fire to create. That's what scares them. They're scared to death of that. Because when your mind is in the creative mode, they can't hold your creative mind captive to experience who they are as a parasite. Because your firewall is now up. Because you're on fire to create. They know all this. That's why they hurt children. They want to strip and bifurcate that creative expression out of children. And turn them into battery slaves. Running DNA experiments. The end of the experiments is the end of history. That's where we're at. Have a beautiful day. Be good to ourselves.